Hello, my name is Jessica Ferrer, and this is NK Now. Two North Korean residents attempting to cross the Tumon River to flee the country were shot dead by border guards in November. A North Hamgyong source said the soldiers didn't even ask them why they were at the river or order them to turn around. They simply shot them on the spot. The source added that this was an unprecedented event. In the past, it was standard procedure to give three warnings before shooting, but it clearly wasn't the case this time. This incident shows there is a sudden change to border security policy. This new policy is presumably an attempt to compensate for the shortfall of soldiers, as the recent flooding swept away a large number of guard posts and personnel, which has jeopardized their ability to control defection routes. According to the source, in an attempt to clamp down on defections, an order was handed down at the beginning of the month stating that defectors should be shot on the spot without exception. This tactic is already striking fear into the hearts of residents, and many are thinking twice before going near the border areas. The source expressed concerns of being shot by saying, If I wander off in the wrong place, it could be the end of me. Even on bright and sunny days, the residents are reluctant to visit areas near the river. Residents have started moving into newly constructed homes in the flood-stricken region of North Hamgyong province. However, instead of shouts of happiness, complaints are emerging amongst residents as these new homeowners are deeply troubled by the thought of spending their winter in these new homes. While the homes look nice from the outside, residents noted that the drywall is still wet and the floors are still damp and sticky from the humidity. The source said that even the blankets are sticking to the floor and some of the new residents are complaining of joint pain because they can't rest comfortably in their new homes. Northern parts of the country are going below zero degrees after sunset and when asked how the families are coping, the source noted that most homes don't have enough firewood, so frost is collecting on the walls at night and children are getting frostbite on their toes. There were also rumors before moving day that all homes would have color television sets, a rumor which turned out to be false. Mandatory donations such as blankets from citizens in other provinces were the only things provided. Residents are understandably disappointed and are beginning to question if these poorly built homes were constructed for them or to showcase the capabilities of the North Korean regime to the rest of the world. This was Jessica Ferrer and thank you for watching NK Now.